Well, shortly after the tragedy in Oxford, a bipartisan task force was created in Lansing to come up with ways to make schools safer. That group has just released its first findings. Grant Harms live tonight with what they're proposing. Grant. Well, Devin Kimberly, I talked to one of the members of that group just as she got out of today's meeting. She says these meetings have been frequent and they've included everybody from law enforcement to parents to students to teachers to professionals to get to the heart of how we can best keep kids safe in our schools. In their first update, lawmakers on the state's newly formed school safety task force already have recommendations on how to make schools safer. In a letter sent to state speaker of the House, Jason Wentworth, members including on their list funding for school based health centers to treat mental health, third party inspections of school safety and shortening the time it takes to remove a threat from the classroom, something that's been front and center in the case against the accused shooter at Oxford High School. We have to find a way to balance this. So that is one of the biggest points of contention, as you can imagine. Um, but for the most part, everything else we're all agreeing on. Um, this package of bills that's coming out that we hope to have soon. Um, it is going to ask for a lot of money for some of these things. One of the most startling parts in the letter came when the task force looked at what the task force from 2018 recommended. Finding recommendations from four years ago still hadn't been put in place, even though they would have made students and staff safer. The 2018 report, there were many, many things that were done. There are many things that are an ongoing project. What we are looking at are the legislative fixes that are required. For example, they may have what, the one I just mentioned with the school safety position. Um, they just require some legislative tweaks. So, and they need to be funded. The representative Breen says these meetings have been frank and they do include members from both parties and they said everything is still on the table, including those tough issues surrounding guns. She says they've also been adamant that when they're talking about what they want for the recommendations, funding Devin needs to be there. Back to you. Grant, I mentioned this was the early report. How long do they think it's going to take before their final findings are out? Yeah, it's the question everyone's asking right now. There's no set timetable, but as you heard, Representative Breen said they already have some bills in the works. She said they also plan to meet with the Attorney General very soon to make sure things are square with her office yeah. before they present their final recommendations. Back to you. All right, Grant.